Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Trailmakers. Now, being a civil engineer, I know all about bridges, and last time we made a supersonic bridge. But since then, I've been challenged to make a supersonic helicopter. Now, I don't know much about helicopters. So first off, we're in the workshop. We're going to search for helicopter. Then can I search by fastest? Why isn't fastest an option? Anyway, a lot of these are pretty similar. They've got double blades. I assume they spin in, like, opposite directions. What is that? That's How is that a helicopter? I don't know. We're going to download that one. And then I've downloaded a few others, and we've loaded up the test map because it's huge we can test out speed without bumping into anything so first off let's check out some of these designs so we've got this one a very conventional looking chopper uh, by the way i found out the other day did you know the word helicopter um it isn't actually made up of heli and copter it's actually made up of helico meaning spiral and putra putra put, put, putra <laughs> think pterodactyl uh, meaning like winged creature or something Oh, yeah, kind of interesting. Right, anyway, so we got this helicopter. You can see it's got helicopter blades on the end of wings. Interesting. Okay, and when we rotate them, they spin in opposite directions. I think that just makes us sort of stable in the air. Yeah, nice. And then what does forward do? Oh, forward actually... Can you see forward actually leans the blades forwards? And then left and right does the, does the tail rudder. Man, this actually handles amazingly. <laughs> Fair play. Okay, so that's I think that's like the basics of a good way to do a helicopter. Let's see what else we have. So we've got this attack chopper, which uh, it's got the double blades again. These, they're just helicopter blades. There's no wings on this one. Oh, God. Oh, God. This one doesn't handle as well. This one does not handle as well. Oh, actually, or does it? Maybe it does. How does turning actually work? It looks like we rotate the wings on the side. That's a good idea. And to go backwards and forwards... Oh, we've got like spinny, like a gyroscope sort of thing. Can you see there's like two of them? Like to lean forwards, it spins that direction. To lean back, it does that. Okay. Oh, so that is actually, that's a helicopter engine working as a gyroscope. That's pretty cool. That's really clever, actually. Fair play. And by the way, this thing has weapons, so... Nice. Shooting some, some of that out the front. I just dropped a load of dynamite bombs. Nice. Oh, that's quite cool. That is quite cool. Okay, fair play. That's decent. Uh, next up, we have this, which I guess technically is still a helicopter. I'm quite intrigued to see how this one's going to work. So it, it looks like that. We're, we're going to be pointing upwards like a spaceship. So we spin those. Oh, and then it's got servos on the ends. And that helps me steer and stuff. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Yeah, so with this one, you do need to sort of try and pull up quite a lot just to stay airborne. But uh, it's also not the easiest thing to control either. But in terms of trying to get to a supersonic one, that might be the sort of route we want to go, just because we can stack propellers a lot easier. All right, let's just see. These helicopter engines, what speed are they set to? Oh, they're on They're on 100% speed as it is. They weren't very fast. Anyway, before we build one ourselves, let's add this. Because apparently this is a helicopter. Uh, not going to lie, don't really understand how. I can actually see propellers on the side. What even are these controls? Look at the wheels. What are they doing? Okay, so we hold space. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is not a helicopter. <laughs> well, that was pretty dangerous. I mean, I'm not sure you can just shove some propellers on the side and call it a helicopter, mate. <laughs> like, is that a helicopter or is it just a rocket? I think it's just a rocket. It's pretty beefy, whatever it is. Anyway, let's delete that. We're going to make our own. So I guess first things first, we start with a cockpit and we'll just add a few blocks so that we can add a helicopter engine. So we've got that on there. We'll, we'll use some helicopter blades just, just to start with, just to sort of get the basics down. And then I might attempt to use the old helicopter engines on the side thing. So we've got one there. We've got one on that side. This top one needs to be set to space and the speed needs to go way up. And then out the back, we're going to shove... A little propeller there set to A and D. And then I just need I just need some legs. So world's most basic helicopter. Will it work? I know I haven't got the double blades on top. I just wanna I just wanna see how this performs first. Check I got all the controls and stuff. So uh so if you only have one set of blades, this is what happens. <laughs> so now hopefully when I press space, they should rotate in opposite directions. Oh, and look at that. So that took us straight up, but we are leaning backwards. So I'm trying to use my my thing to level us out. It's sort of working. Must lean forwards. Okay, so the question is, why are we leaning back so much? The, the left and right steering works pretty well, by the way. So do I just need more weight at the front? 
Now the worst thing is I can't rebuild in midair, so we gotta wait until we fall, which because I went so high could take a little while. Two hours later. I mean I guess could I just move like all of this stuff left? Because surely if my center of lift is there, then a bit more weight at the front should help us lean forwards. So I assume that's what I'm trying to do here. Anyway, let's see. Is that any better? Oh, look, that's straight up. So now lean forwards. We are just about leaning forwards. Yeah, look at that. Okay, it's working. We've built a helicopter that we can steer, sort of. Yeah, no, I, I'd say we can steer. All right, so I guess first off, we try and do a speed test. So we're cruising at about... 70 oh no it's going down it's going down cruising at about 60 it's sort of i can if i turn my blades off i can lean forwards more and then we go mental so top speed 80 miles an hour shall we say that i mean i feel like i could probably fall faster than that if i'm honest <laughs> anyway two things i want to do to see if i can improve the speed one being if i just copy these blades i mean usually in this game you just add more engines and that makes you faster so if we copy those up there now, I wonder if that will improve our speed. So, here we go. I mean, it still flies. We'll lean forward. It's getting harder and harder to lean forward, actually. Somehow, that's made us slower. What? It's also made us way more buoyant. I'm struggling to get down. <laughs> um, and just because I don't want to miss anything, I am gonna, I'm going to copy loads and loads of blades just to make sure. I don't want to be missing out on any logic here. We're going to keep going till that parts limit is maxed out at 700. There you go, 697 out of 700 pieces. That is, that is a lot of blades. I can't even see the bottom. It like disappears. Um, I feel like as soon as I spawn this, is it going to try and fall over? Oh. Uh. Okay. Uh, turns out the game didn't like that. What is that bit doing? <laughs> right, well, that is absolutely terrifying. I wonder if I... Ow! <laughs> if I spawn this quick enough, can I get back in it? Right, I'm in. I'm in. And somehow we're vertical. We haven't fallen over yet. <laughs> what is this? Look how tall it is. So we hold space and then we see what happens. The w <laughs> Look at the helicopter. <laughs> oh, Matt, what have you done? 67 miles an hour. Absolutely pointless. So back to the sensibleness of the normal one. We're going to try replacing blades this time. Now, the only thing is we're going to have to work out what blade spins what direction. So I think these helicopter blades, they're like, they're multi-directional. So it doesn't really matter what way they face. But if I'm going to extend them, I'm going to have to do wings, which I think have a forward and backwards. Yeah, so I probably want a modular wing and they definitely have a forward and a backwards when it comes to aerodynamics. Let's just have a little look and see what direction each spins. So top one goes clockwise. Got it. So if I just move that over that way a bit. Grab a modular wing and shove it down there. And what I'm going to do, the first test, I'm going to make it the same length as the helicopter ones. So we got that for the top blade, which looks a bit messy, if I'm honest. Yeah, but then for the bottom blade, we just want to do the opposite, basically. So we can just grab that one, copy it underneath, and then do the opposite on this side. Which means now we have this. So <laughs> it looks so weird. Are they actually going to clap? They might clash. I feel like the wings might clash, actually. We might need to put some space between them. Uh, oh no, they're working fine. They are actually working fine. Although you can tell straight away, um, a lot slower than my other ones. Um, however, the advantage with these is we can make them longer and longer. Um, and we can, also, we can also shove helicopter blades on the end. So I might do that first. Let's just see how this affects stuff. So helicopter blades everywhere on the ends. Let's jump in this and see. Oh, that is fast. Well, faster. We're up to 45 miles an hour, so I think we're technically slower than just the helicopter blades. We'll try and do a fair test, which was sort of making sure we're leaning forwards. But yeah, definitely slower than just helicopter blades. Let's really extend the wings. Oh no, it's slower. It's slower. 33 miles an hour. Right, let's lean forwards. Let's double check. No, we've made it slower. We've definitely made it slower. Okay, not ideal. Not ideal at all. I'm sort of thinking now then. Uh, well, how, how do I get down first? <laughs> Because we've got so many wings, we're essentially like a glider. Oh, there it goes. All right, well, perhaps we don't have enough speed. So what if we replace these, the helicopter blades, with a dragon engine? Now, if I just rotate that the right orientation, then that could make our blades spin faster. What if I sort of do that? So they're, they're stuck to each wing, but they're not actually touching each other. I think that's good. And then if I did want to stack these, I could actually rotate like that direction 
Because now I can literally copy these like side by side and add more power. Yeah, and we won't be we won't be attached. Okay, that's good. So we'll just copy these to every end. And then we should be good. So let's see, will this make this one faster? I think we're about 50 miles an hour with this one. So let's have a look. We've got a lot of spinach. Oh no, the helicopter's not happy. The helicopter is not happy at all. I think we're getting some flex in our blades. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> All right, I tell you what, for safety, let's try and move the top blade up a bit. All right, there you go. You can see there's a bit of separation now. Let's see. I mean, it clearly makes the blade spin faster, but does it make the helicopter move faster? M maybe? Not noticeably, though. But perhaps that's because we proved these wings don't actually do anything. All right, first off then, let's try this. Let's just shove helicopter blades on the end of all of these. So exactly the same thing. We've just got helicopter blades on the end. What is the damage of this one? All right, I mean, it looks impressive. I'm not actually sure it's working very well. <laughs> 60 miles an hour again. All I can think is it's the wings limiting us. So let's try this. Let's delete all these wings. And then let's just try doing that. So basically, we've got the jet engines in the orientation that they were. Uh, with helicopter blades on the end. Because we, we do know that these make the blades spin faster. This is sort of a test to see where the plane engine is slowing us down. Uh, we're creating a lot of smoke. We're sort of... <laughs> we've turned into like a crop spreader sort of thing. A lot of pollution. Uh, but look at the speed. 77, 78, 80 miles an hour. We've beaten we've beaten our speed limit. Finally, 90 miles an hour. So the good news is that did actually work somehow. Now, I guess next step is we add a few more engines. So shall we try five engines on each of these? Now I need to be careful because our rotor blade is sort of... I think it's going to clash with the engines. Let's just have a look. Yeah, you can see there it's clashing. I'm not actually sure if we need this propeller. I might I might delete it. I know, a bit risky. And instead, I might balance this completely. So we got another cockpit and we got legs completely balanced. All right, so now we've got this thing, which is a bit unstable. Although it's, it's settled down. Okay, let's get in. So, five jet engines on either side. These blades should absolutely fly. Let's have a look. Oh, no. I think we've added too much weight. We can't actually take off. So, yeah. Helicopter blades, they sort of... They have a limit as to how much lift there is. Oh, God. Flashing warning. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> so, I guess the lift produced by the helicopter blades is only a certain amount. And that's too many engines for the weight. So, I feel like I've sort of got two options. I could attempt to do that sort of thing. So, twice the number of helicopter blades. Let's turn it on and see if we take off. Oh, we are we are actually taking off in like a dome. Oh, we're <laughs> we've made like a half sphere of smoke. Right, anyway, now we're facing this way. Look at the speed. 100 miles an hour. That actually worked. That was a lot quicker. Well, now I'm sort of wondering if we go aerodynamic and try and add more blades at the same time. Because if we turn on aerodynamics, it's going to be really, really hard to work out because the game sort of only works in one direction. You see the aerodynamics down there, they're not actually that good. They're sort of slow moving green ones. So if we take like this engine as an example, that's what we've got on the front. If I wanted to add more blades... I could improve the aerodynamics at the same time by using one of these, a wedge 4x4, an extremely aerodynamic block. So if I shove that there, and can you see these blades have like way faster aerodynamic lines than those ones? Now that basically means this will move a lot faster. Is it worth seeing if covering up all the engines with these does anything? All right, so now we have this monstrosity. <laughs> Oh dear, what is that, Matt? What is that? Anyway, let's see. Will this actually take off? We've added more weight, remember? Oh, it is. It's taking off. I don't know what way forward is. Oh god! That was supersonic! <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but I definitely heard the supersonic boom thing. I mean, can we call that a win, or is that just cheating? I feel like that's probably just cheating. Um, I sort of want to take this as high as I can, and then actually have a go at the speed test. Because, yeah, going upright isn't isn't very fast. We're about 20... Well, not even that. 16 miles an hour going vertical. But that's not how hel helicopters in real life get speed. They sort of... They lean forwards. And they do this. So our speed, it is flying 120, 130 miles an hour. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like that was just falling. Uh, by the way, in case you're wondering of what the actual speed record for real helicopter is, it's 287 miles an hour by something called the Sikorsky X2. Uh, it looks like an absolute beast, I'm not going to lie. 
I'm not convinced we're going in the right direction with this. What if we had more lift, like more blades? Because we, we sort of saw that did work before. But stacking them vertically didn't do anything. What if we were to use some grid blocks to sort of do a bit of that? I mean, I'm not actually sure. I haven't even tried like doing two blades versus four blades. Yeah, well, ow, ow. Okay, that was actually really quick. But the blades are hitting each other. I mean, simple solution is we just move all the blades up one again. So we end up with this. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. 69 miles an hour. Nice. All right, now we're leaning forwards. Can we go faster? Oh, yes, we can. So we're in the, the mid-80s, and we are actually flying. This isn't this isn't falling with style like the previous one. That's actually sort of working. Okay, so next up, I'm going to try and make this like four blades wide. So basically, if we imagine that's two blades, I want to just add blades that direction. <laughs> what is going on in the middle there? That looks like carnage. So vertical 65 cruising. What about the actual helicopter speed? Now we appear to have lost some speed. Interesting. Okay, we'll go back to this one. Yep, delete those. I know this didn't work before, but now there's two blades rather than four. What if we were to copy that? What are we now? 80... Oh, mid 80s. It's about it's about the same, really. Okay, well, I feel I've pushed the boundary of helicopter blades. Um, I'm not sure I can create a faster helicopter than this unless I try like propellers or something. Actually, that gives me an idea. So if we add propellers on top of all the wings, then we might go faster, right? Let's fire it up. Oh, Sonic Boom! We made a supersonic helicopter. All right, ready, ready. This counts. This counts. <laughs> There you go, Sonic Boom! Right, we did that at least a couple of times there. That definitely counts. <laughs> this has got to count. Sonic Boom every time! <laughs> yeah, that's that's got to be a supersonic helicopter. Anyway, right, well, anyway, I'm calling that a win. I'm calling that a supersonic helicopter. <laughs> if you want to argue, um, you, you probably have a point. Yeah, but still, there you go. That was the supersonic helicopter, sort of. If you got anything else you want me to try and build, let me know in the comments. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and Bladeception. Wah! Bye, guys!